going through this when you're 40, it's not the same as when you're going when you're 20. It's interesting. But if you really, you're... really believe, um, things work out. Absolutely, and that's what I keep telling everyone here. But it's interesting to hear. Um, what did you feel? Was was there any specific challenges with being a little bit older and doing the training? Yes, um, I think um, the 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 amount of knowledge, especially now uh, on the on the, the typewriting. Uh, the amount of knowledge and the short amount of time that you have to uh, not only absorb, develop, mm. uh, uh, solidify, uh, you need to construct your motor skills, uh, be able to think fast, react fast, mm. uh, understand things quickly, lots of systems at the same time. And um, it, it was a lot of work. Yeah, and you felt, you felt that that would probably have been easier when you were younger than, than Absolutely. now. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, I, I feel it myself Absolutely. sometimes. I can, and I can watch my sons, you know, they, they pick things up like that. And it takes longer when you get older. But did you feel that you had, had anything, uh, anything to gain from, from your age? Like, did you feel that... Yes. That, um, on the other hand, precisely that. The fact that uh, I, I'm a bit older, let's say, I'd like to think of me as a bit more mature. Mm. Uh, I've been through other things. I've had other jobs. I've worked for big companies. And um, there is a way of seeing life, of seeing a job, of seeing a career, of seeing life, of, of dealing with the day-to-day -day episodes that happen uh, in, in a more, let's say, uh, structured manner. Yeah. Because there is some life experience behind. Absolutely. And life experience. Not... not not let's say undermining the younger people out there but of course the older you are the more complete you are as a human being yeah you, you do accrue life experience and it, it's very important and it becomes it becomes more important as well as you now progressing through your first officer career towards command as well so this is something that i wanted to bring out because yes sure it, when you're young you will learn things very very quickly but as you get older, your, your life experience will also help you in different ways. Like you might need a couple of more sectors of training, but eventually when it comes to decision-making skills and things like that, you have more to fall back on. So that, that's something that I wanted to bring forward. Um, what was the, cost of the uh, total cost of your training? Total now, this cost is, of this is training. The, the magic question now. Well, I still have my liver, <laughs> so it wasn't that expensive. But... Uh... With the typewriting included? Yeah, well, we can, we can take the first, the initial training up to your MCC certificate. Okay, I would say that easily the, the ATPL up to the MCC uh, costs uh, 50,000 euros, maybe 55,000 euros, because we need to consider also the cost of living, the cost that I faced going to the, to the, to the States, my stays in the, in, in, in the UK, the transfers of licenses, all those. Uh, issues that are lateral but be but are part of the project itself sure. also so I would say 50, 55,000 euros um, and then the type rating uh, that cost uh, 30,000 euros okay. so but the type rating that was part you you joined an airline that, that required you to pay the type rating exactly but you were more or less guaranteed a job if you did. Exactly. So it, exactly. it was kind of an investment that some, some airlines to do this, they ask you to pay for your type rating if you come in as a cadet. Some other airlines might take you on and they pay the, the type rating, but they might bond you or deduct that money from your salary for the first couple of years. So this is different between different airlines. But 50,000 or 55,000 euro for your initial training now. In my last interview, I talked to Holly and her cost was 79,000 pounds. Did you? We talked about this before. How, how much was that in euros? Because I haven't checked it out. I would say very close, very close to 100,000 euros. Okay, so we're talking of almost half of the cost. Um, were you happy with your training in general? Yes. Very, okay, good. Uh, and you were paying for your training as you went by with your normal day-to-day -day job? Yes, yes. Except, yes. except for the last little bit? Yes. Okay. Um, I've, I've checked, uh, I checked the market. It was one of the advices that uh, constantly read uh, some schools unfortunately there are uh, schools that are not as serious as they should mm -hmm. I think there are good and bad things everywhere but uh, there are some experiences where people, where schools took the money and then they did not let's say provide the level of service that the student was expecting 
Uh, fortunately, there are also other schools that are opposite to that, and there are really, really good ones. But one advice there was never, never pay in advance, or at least just a little bit in advance, but, but keep, keep, a, keep a tight management on that, okay. so you don't lose track. So that was, a, that was a, that's what I did here in Europe, that's what I did in the States, I was transferring money, and I was flying those hours, and transferring more money, flying those hours. Um, so definitely, pay as you go. Don't do a type rating uh, before you have a, a job, because imagine you do a type rating, you spend 30,000 euros on a 737, and you get a job on an Airbus. Mm. It's money that you just threw away. Yeah, and you also um, have to keep that type rating alive. Even if you don't have a job, you're going to have to do a, re, you know, a, a recurrent training on that every year to keep the type rating valid. Yeah, so, so to summarize, uh, in order to do the um, modular course, you need to have you need to do quite a lot of research and check the schools and make sure that you're going to the right schools because there are a lot of schools out there. Yeah. You need to have a good kind of check on your economy and try not to, to pay things in advance. But the benefit of that is that you can reduce your cost of your training to almost half of what the integrated big schools are asking for. But knowing that we have, you have a job and congratulations, I have to say that once again. Um, we have been talking about whether or not it's harder to get a job once you're a modular student, but I guess that is, like with everything in this world, up to you as a person. And the, the integrated courses, sometimes they can give, they can carry the name of the school with them towards the airline. So there, there might be some benefit, but obviously it's perfectly doable to do it the way that you did it and still be successful in getting a, finding a job. If I may add just uh, one thing more, I think it's very, very important to stay in the loop. Mm -hmm. uh, I gave up uh, a career in economics and I started working as a cabin crew for an airline just to be close to the environment, yeah. close to, to pilots. Those are uh, the ones that actually gave me the strength to, to continue mm -hmm. and to believe that at an earlier stage in my life I would still be able to get a job if I worked hard. Good. Um, so you felt it was, because uh, this is a question I get as well from, from some people, if it's a, a good idea to, to work as a um, as cabin crew in order Definitely. to get it. Yeah, you, feel, you felt that you got something from it, but you... For me, it was a way to get closer to the, in, to the industry, to get closer to a 737 cockpit. And, and those little things uh, seem nothing in the day to day, yeah. but when the moment comes, you're familiar with the environment, you're, fam you're familiar with the... With the the, 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 the feel the whole feel yeah yeah good Thanks. well that kind of wraps it up guys as always feel free to send in your questions now I'll be in contact with Daniel so if you have any questions directly to him just send them in as um, comments down here below and I will send them on to Daniel and see what he says about it but as always feel free to share this video with your friends on Facebook on the Instagram on Twitter or Flickr or whatever it is you're using um, have a check at my have a look at my Patreon page as well if you haven't already if you think that this is helpful and as always I hope that you have a fantastic day and take care of the loved ones around you it's really really important and I'll see you next time thank you Daniel thank you. bye bye